Very good evening to and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 26th of July, 2023. Today, the church celebrates the feast day of Anne and Joachim, who are parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the Proto-Gospel of James, written in the middle of the second century, the parents of Mary, the mother of Jesus, are named as Anne and Joachim. The story there appears to be based heavily on that of Hannah, the mother of Samuel. The feast day of Anne and Joachim both emphasizes God's plan from the beginning to send his son born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem fallen humanity, and also shows God's faithfulness in keeping his covenant with all generations. And so our evening prayer begins with our prayers of preparation. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Hymn for this evening is The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. The King of Love, My Shepherd Is, Whose goodness faileth never, I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, my ransomed soul he leadeth, and where the verdant pastures grow with food celestial feed. Perverse and foolish oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no ill, with thee, beloved, beside me. Thy rod and staff, my comfort still, thy cross before to guide me. Thou spreadst a table in my sight, thy unction grace bestowed, and a what transport of delight from thy pure chalice flow. And so through all the length of days thy goodness faileth, Never, good shepherd, may I sing thy praise within thy house forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. First Psalm of Psalm 11. In the Lord have I taken refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to the hills? For see how the wicked bend the bow and fit their arrows to the string to shoot from the shadows of the true of heart. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy heaven. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try every mortal being. The Lord tries the righteous as well as the wicked, but those who delight in violence his soul abhors. Upon the wicked he shall rain coals of fire and burning sulphur. Scorching wind shall be their portion to drink. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds, and those who are upright shall behold his face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Psalm 12. 
Help me, O Lord, for no one godly is left. The faithful have vanished from the whole human race. They all speak falsely with their neighbour, they flatter with their lips, but speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord will cut off all the flattering lips, and the tongue that speaks proud boasts. Those who say with our tongue will we prevail, our lips we will use, who is Lord over us. Because of the oppression of the needy and the groaning of the poor, I will rise up now, says the Lord, and set them in the safety that they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in the furnace and purified seven times in the fire. You, O Lord, will watch over us and guard us from this generation forever. The wicked strut on every side when what is vile is exalted by the whole human race. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 13. How long will you forget me, O Lord, forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have anguish in my soul and grief in my heart, day after day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Look upon me and answer, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemy say I have prevailed against him, and my foes rejoice that I have fallen. But I put my trust in your steadfast love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt so bountifully with me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 11. About a month later, Nahash the Ammonite went up and besieged Jabesh Gilead, and all the men of Jabesh came to Nahash, make a treaty with us and we will serve you. But Nahash the Ammonite said to them, On this condition I will make a treaty with you, namely that I gouge out everyone's right eye, and thus put disgrace upon all Israel. The elders of Jabesh said to him, Give us seven days respite, that we may send messengers, messengers throughout all the territory of Israel, and if there is no one to save us, we will give ourselves up to you. When the messengers came to Gebeah of Saul, they reported the matter in the hearing of the people, and the people wept aloud. Now Saul was coming in from the field behind the oxen, and Saul said, What is the matter with the people that they are weeping? So they told him the message from the inhabitants of Jabesh, and the Spirit of God came upon Saul in great power And he heard, when he heard these words, and his anger was greatly kindled. He took a yoke of oxen and cut them in pieces and set them out throughout all the territory of Israel by messengers saying, Whoever does not come out after Saul and Samuel, so shall be done to his oxen. Then the dread of the Lord fell upon the people, and they came out as one, and they mustered, mustered at Bezek. Those from Israel were 300,000, and those from Judah 70,000. And they said to the messengers who had come, Thus shall you say to the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead, Tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, you shall have deliverance. When the messengers came and told the inhabitants of Jabesh, they rejoiced. So the inhabitants of Jabesh said, Tomorrow we will give ourselves up to you, that you may do whatever seems good to you. The next day... Saul put the people in three companies. The morning watch they came into the camp and cut down the Ammonites again until the heat of the day, and those who survived were scattered, so that no two of them were left together. The people said to Samuel, Who is it that said, Saul shall reign over us? Give them to us, so that we may put them to death. But Saul said, No one shall be put to death this day, for today the Lord has brought deliverance to Israel. Samuel said to the people, Come, let us go to Gilgal, and there renew the kingship. So all the people went to Gilgal, and there they made Saul king before the Lord in Gilgal. There they sacrificed offerings of well-being before the Lord, and there Saul and the Israelites rejoiced greatly. Here ends the first reading. And the Wednesday Canticle, the Song of the Blessed. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. 
Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. And from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 22. Jesus went out, came out, and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling to the ground. When he got up from the prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief, and he said to them, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Here ends the second reading. And our response to read. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. And the Magnificat. In the heavenly kingdom, the blessed have their dwelling place and their rest for ever and ever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In the heavenly kingdom, the blessed will have their dwelling place and their rest for ever and ever. And so we come now to our time of intercession. As we pray for the Church of the Right of the World, we pray for the Diocese of Waiapu in New Zealand, for its Bishop Andrew. In the Valley Crucis Mission area this month, we are praying for St. John's in Pont Vadoc, for Wardens Anthony Appleton and Fasil Onimole, and for the continued growth of the church community there. We need to pray, as always, for Bishop Gregory this time. We pray for the people of the St. David's Diocese as they prepare to elect a new bishop. And we pray for the Cathedral of St. David as they celebrate the 700 year of the official pilgrimage there. We continue to pray for the needs of the world around us, praying for the people of Ukraine, of Eastern Europe, of Sudan. We pray for those who are facing the cost of living crisis, for the church's response to it. We continue to pray for those who are sick, for Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Jess, Luna, Maldwin, Meyer and Stan. We pray for the departed, among them Quentin and Carol and Philip, who was laid to rest today. We continue to pray for those who are in authority, for those who influence, in, influence us in so many ways, and we pray for those who are instrumental in bringing us to faith. And so our prayers of intercession for the unity of the church in witness and proclamation of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace and stability of all peoples and for the leaders of the nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Places of work, education and leisure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for a blessing on our homes and for relations and friends and all for whom we love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the sick and the suffering and those who minister to their needs. Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. The Lord God of Israel, who bestowed such grace on Anne and Joachim and their daughter Mary, that their daughter Mary grew up in obedience to your word and made ready to become the mother of your son. Help us to commit ourselves in all things to your keeping and grant us the salvation you promised to your people. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining me once again this evening and uh, wish you a very good evening indeed. <laughs>